What? The Goldbach conjecture was proved in 2022 and, and nobody told me about this? <gasps> Goldbach's conjecture is a very important problem in number theory, a very important open problem in number theory that says that every even number bigger or equal to 4 can be written as a sum of two primes. For example, 4 is 2 plus 2, 6 is 3 plus 3, uh, 16 is 3 plus 13, and so on and so forth, but nobody knows how to prove it. These people are suggesting that they have a proof, uh, so let's see what they do in this paper. And I want to emphasize that this was published by the IEEE in some publication of the IEEE, and it's really shameful that this appears in print anywhere, and I hope they somehow find this and retract it. Uh, because you'll see that there's, of course, no proof whatsoever. And in fact, the mistake is uh, mind-boggling. You just have to go to the abstract to see what's going on. So what they're saying is that in this paper, we prove that the sum of any two odd prime numbers is an even number, and therefore, Goldbach's conjecture is true. What? Once again, Goldbach's conjecture is that every even number bigger than two is a sum of two prime numbers, and all they're proving is that every sum of two prime numbers of two odd prime numbers is an even number, and they think that that is logically equivalent to proving Goldbach's conjecture. And that's really it. That is the proof. Here it is. Uh, they take two prime numbers that are odd, and then they add them up. They get an even number, and that's it. And then they just say that then every even number is a sum of two primes. That's not how logic works at all. In fact, this semester I am teaching a class on mathematical proofs and we just started a section on mathematical logic and this is a perfect example for that class. So what we're trying to prove, Goldbach's conjecture says that if P, then Q. If N is even and bigger or equal to 4, then N is the sum of two odd primes. What they are proving is not that, uh, that conditional statement, it's this conditional statement. If n is a sum of two primes, two odd primes, then n is even. These two statements are not logically equivalent, and obviously that is true, and obviously that is really easy, while this is very hard. And it is, in fact, a good exercise on truth tables to prove that logically the statement P implies Q is logically inequivalent to the statement Q implies P. Those are two very different statements. So um, just anyone that has done just a little bit of mathematical logic should know this. So in any case, just because a result appears in print, in a publication, even if it's something like the IEEE, that's not necessarily true uh, that something has been proved.